Have you ever wondered how it would be if you had your own drum kit in your mobile? Yes, in your mobile. Hi, I'm Desai Kushi of Game Jit School and I'm here to demonstrate how you can make your own drum kit application. After you have logged in to your QtPy account and made your project, you would see this screen. This is the designer interface. The QtPy server has two interfaces. the designer interface and the block interface the designer interface is where we design our apps screen then the block interface is where we write the code and the logic for our application in this application we will be using buttons table arrangement and player first go to the properties of the screen and scroll down there you will see the screen orientation set it to landscape after doing that go to the layout and drag and drop the table arrangement why are we using the table arrangement we are using the table arrangement for arranging our buttons properly on the screen set the columns and the rows to 5 then set the height and width to fill pen After performing all these steps, go to the user interface and drag and drop a button. Go to the properties of the button and scroll down. Then select the image you want for your button. As you can see, the image is not fitting on the screen. So, go on the height and width and set it to 25%. See, you have made your first one. You must also rename the button for not having any confusions when you are coding. After renaming, you will be thinking that when we click the button, the sound should come. For that, we must go to the media and drag and drop the player. then select the source you want for your player and rename your player on the screen you can also notice that the button is a visible component and player is a non visible component you sh- you must perform the same steps for all the components of the drum kit and you will be having the design for the screen of your application so as you can see i have completed the designing of our screen now let's go to the blocks here you know the logic is that when we touch the button the music should play so we should select the according blocks for that scroll down to symbols and drag and drop when symbols touch down do this means that when we touch the button what the performance should be done then go to symbols music and drag and drop call symbol music dot start here the application will be performing the event we are saying it to then go again to symbols and drag and drop when symbols dot touch up to then go to symbol music again and call symbol music dot pause this block means that when we touch up or when we take our finger back the music should stop you can duplicate the blocks and complete your coding so as you can see i have completed the coding now we go to the final part where we can test out our application for that first you have to click on build option 
there will be two options coming to you the app provide qr code and app save dot apk the provide qr code option gives you a qr code which you can scan on your mobile and download it the save apk just downloads it on your computer i am going to generate a qr code So now you can see the QR code is generated. We also have a link which you can click on and download. Now you can use any QR scanner for scanning the QR code. So let's scan the QR code. So after you have downloaded the, the app, you will see this screen. Let's test it out. It is play. So, you can also make your own app. Thank you.